Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm Exact Prolific, and look, let me tell you something about side chicks, dog. Side chicks represent a subculture of women that are basically home wreckers and women pretty much without morals. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, <sighs> I don't know if there's a past that be, that can be given to a woman that's a side chick to a celebrity. Maybe, but for the maybe because of the perks i don't know but for the average woman that dates the average man or slightly above average to be a side but overall the concept of being a side piece just speaks volumes on you know the the morally bankrupt thought process of a woman because women you're supposed to be you know especially a beautiful woman you're supposed to be the focus of that man's attention which you would be if you valued yourself more. Now, I say that to come to today's situation where there's an, a side piece, a.k.a. a mistress of Muhammad Ali that says she has a sex tape that she's trying to sell for $100,000. And she says that they've been messing around for 20 years. They had an affair. They were hooking up when he had his second wife. The lady's now 70 years old, but, you know, when he had his second wife years ago, uh, he, they were messing around and were messing around, for, you know, and it's just crazy because, you know, she said she's had the tape for a while. They hooked up in 1967. She's 70 years old now, but in 1967, uh, okay, till 1987, I'm sure, is when they had their thing going on. And, I mean, it's crazy to me. They showed a picture of her when she was young, and she was, she was fine, fine as hell, because she looked decent as an older woman. And she's like, you know, she's been holding on to the tape for all these years. And now she's talking about trying to publish it. Eight people are coming at her trying to, you know, pay money for it. And she's also talking about putting out a, a book, a memoir uh, of her affair with the guy. You know, on some old superhead type stuff. And I just find it so disgusting. You're going to do this to the man when he's, you know, after he dies, you put this out trying to, you know, tarnish his legacy you're 70 years old, you know, like, what have you done in your 70 years of living that you're not financially decent at this point in your life, that you now have to go tarnish another person's image and the career that they worked there all their life to build? I say that because I look at any older person like this. By the time you hit 50 years old, if you're not pretty much on your way to being financially good for the next 20 to 30 years of your life, You've been wasting your life. That's how I look at it. To be broke at 45, to be broke at 50, shows me an idiot. That's how I look at the whole thing. Anyway, let me tell you something, man. Side pieces, to me, just represents a subgenre of women that are morally bankrupt. And, you know, typically women like that ain't never girlfriend material anyway that's why they side pieces think about it i mean i've seen it plenty of times it's like when they do find a guy that's green enough to make them their girl they subconsciously do stuff to mess up that relationship i've seen it time and time again anyway leave a comment in the box below don't forget to subscribe you can follow me on instagram and twitter at exact prolific and um also you can download the new podcast episode uh there's been a new one put up on uh soundcloud so download it uh, please subscribe to the channel. Also, um, for all you rappers, we got hip hop instrumentals. You can find the links to that below and links to my social media. Click those links. I'll talk to you later.